Hi and welcome back and um, if you are new here then welcome to my channel and I hope you enjoy the video and my other videos if you go and check them out after this one. Um, anyway, without my rambling, I hope everyone is doing okay and feeling really well. Today I am going to be filming my full face using only my mum's makeup and I'm a bit scared girl, like I am genuinely a bit scared but it's going to be funny so yeah, if you guys want to see this then stick around and I will dive in right about now. Okay. So this is her makeup bag and this was from Avon years and years ago girl This is old and I am talking old anyway, so I am going to dive right in This is the Aveeno active naturals moisturizer and this is what she moisturizes with on a daily basis And um, I do believe this is good for your skin if you have like severe like dry skin and bad skin So yeah, not that my mum does but um, yeah, this is good for her skin So I am going to apply a little a bit of this to my face to prep it for the makeup girl. Not that I'm going to be like full beat or anything but you know still gotta like get the moisturizer on the skin and prep it for application of makeup. So yeah this is a really good moisturizer I cannot deny that. It isn't cheap so you can tell you are paying for goodness for the skin girl but um yes yeah, so this is what she wears on a regular basis and um I have used it in the past and I do enjoy it so so far I can't complain plain about the actual moisturizer but then um, when it gets to makeup maybe I might have a few things to say and then um, whatever I do say I am saying in like complete joke I am not being serious I love my mum and I am not being like mean negative nasty putting her down like I am plain and simply joking so don't take me serious if I joke or say anything that you guys might think is a bit like oh my god what but um I am definitely 100% joking so take it with a grain of salt you know a bit of pepper and chill about it but um yes yeah. so now I am going to move on to foundation so yeah this is where it gets a little bit complicated because I would normally do my eyebrows first before anything else and my mum doesn't do that so I'm like do I follow her routine or what but then um, basically I would normally do my eyebrows then eye makeup then skin and I'm not sure how to play it but um I might go in with foundation first because that's kind of like my mum's routine and at the end of the day I am kind of like you know mimicking my mum's makeup look in this video. So yeah, I suppose I will go in with um, the foundation, which is the Avon, and this is the Avon Colour Flawless Cream to Powder Foundation. I'm like, okay girl, I don't normally use foundation like this, but I suppose for the video I'm going to have to like, you know, sacrifice a little bit of my- oh, girl! Girl, where is the product? I'm like, okay, I'm supposed to do like a full face, girl, what? Look at that. She has hit pan, girl, like she must love it. But um, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to like, you know, apply that to my face because there's like nothing left. And I have this tiny like little powder, little sponge thing, girl, and I'm like, all right, so let's start getting this on the skin. So I'm not confident about the coverage, girl. Okay, so I am not getting a lot of coverage at all and I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. My mum is absolutely obsessed with this foundation and I'm like, all right, let me see. But um, I'm not sure how much to use. So I'm going to build up quite a decent layer because a girl likes full coverage. However, my mum doesn't. Um, She only started wearing foundation on her whole face, believe it or not, not so long ago when I told her she was doing it a bit like you know what's going on here girl basically she used to apply it on her chin her nose and like that was it girl that was it and I was like mom no no queen and um she started to apply it to her whole face but um however this is like not my type of foundation I would normally wear a liquid if you guys watch me on a regular basis then you will know this this is completely out of my comfort zone and I'm a bit like yeah um yeah Then I have this. Now, this is a concealer. Now, what? What? Oh no. I am going to blend this out because she has no brushes. Well, she has one brush, which I will show you later on. But um, I am going to give you the real tea on the situation right now. So basically, I had a makeup clear out the other week and I gave her some of my old makeup or makeup I didn't want anymore. And um, she took some of the concealers. Now, I had some LA Girl Pro concealers that were like too dark for me. So I said to her, they will work for you. So you could have them. Now, basically, I thought she had taken the like, you know, base 
Day shades, and it turns out she had took the LA Girl Pro Conceal Yellow Corrector and has been concealing with it. Now, however, it hasn't looked bad on her for some reason, which I don't understand. But on me, can we see this? Like, what is happening? And she has, like, no brush to blend it out. No, I am sorry. I am going to have to use the, like, you know, powder thing that I got with the foundation while well, my mum did and kind of, like, diffuse this yellow situation because I look sick. I look unwell and this is not going to work because I actually want to look good with this, okay? I don't want it to look, like, atrocious and, like, really, really bad. Okay, so I suppose that is looking a bit better. I still don't look good. Like, I look quite yellow and I'm not, like, pleased about it, but what can I do? So I'm going to have to, like, blend out the other one with my finger and then go over it as well with the actual puff thing and try and fix it. But wow, that was yellow, girl. I am so glad I gave it away because if it works for her, then great. But for me, that was bad. This is bad. I mean, oh my God. Now, I would normally, on a normal situation, like highlight my forehead, my nose, my chin with my concealer, but then because this is yellow central on my skin tone, I'm like, no, I'm going to like, you know, skip out on that because I would end up looking like Madge. Simpson girl. I'm not into that, so I will have to say no to that. Okay, so this is my mum's eyebrow pencil, and I'm like, okay, okay, um, I suppose I can make it work, but um, this has to be the world's smallest eyebrow pencil. Like, she has used it to death. Now, basically, I haven't used an eyebrow pencil on my eyebrow since high school, and I'm not sure how this is going to work, because I'm more into, like, the pomades and the powder, as opposed to the pencil life because I used to have like brick brows and I'm like, I don't wanna go back to that. Like, I don't want flashbacks, girl. So yeah, this is going to be quite difficult, I imagine. I've got to say it, this sponge has helped me so much, like, fix so many problems because it has fixed my concealer, my eyebrows, and God knows what else it's going to help me fix, but, um, yeah, my eyebrows look okay. They are nowhere near the best, obviously, but, you know, I can't do a lot with that pencil. So, yeah, this is the eyebrows, and now I'm going to move on because I can't obsess over them no longer. Um, I have used this to kind of, like, go around and clean them up. It is time to bronze, okay? So I am taking my mum's face pearls from Avon. And um, as long as I can remember, she has used these face pearls. So I am like, this is so nostalgic for me. So I am taking out the sponge and this is like inside. And this is her brush she has had for years. Like, look at it. It's like the weirdest thing you have ever seen. And it's kind of like, you know, a bit tatty now, but um, it does a job for her. So what can you say? Now I am dipping it in and she does like this from here to there, so I am going to do the same thing. Okay, okay. Because I haven't used any powder, this is looking patchy already and I'm like, no, please. Um, yeah, so I am not in love with this look at all because this is way too, like, red and orange on my skin tone and I'm like, yeah, maybe this isn't for me. This is looking slightly too insane. So I am getting out yet again the sponge and I am going to, like, lessen down this area here. So I'm just going to dab over it to kind of, like, you know, lose a little bit of that reddish kind of pigment on my cheek. On my cheek, I meant to say there, guys. All right, girls, so now I'm going to move on to eyeliner, and my mum likes, like, some eyeliner in her waterline, and then um, this one is the Soap and Glory. Now, I cannot read which one it was because, girl, look, again, like the eyebrow pencil, it is too short, so I am going to apply this into my waterline, and this is going to change it up, girl, like, I'm gonna look slightly insane, but, um, yeah, this isn't about me, so I've got to copy what my mum does, and like I said, all of this looks okay on my mum, but 
on me. It's like not my style, so that's why I am saying this. I am not like dragging her or being rude, girls, so don't get, you know, twisted. She has in here as well this kind of like white eyeliner, which I believe she got out of my makeup bag as well, which I gave to her. So now I don't know where she wears this because I've never seen her use it, but she put it in the pile of stuff to use. So I'm going to see if I can add it into my inner waterline, inner waterline, inner corner even. That has added a little bit of like a pop in the inner corner, if you can say that I mean. It isn't like really bright or anything, but Okay, so now I am going to move on to mascara and this one is my mum's holy grail and I am talking like her favourite. This one is the Rimmel Extra Super Lash by Rimmel. Rimmel Extra Super Lash by Rimmel? Yeah, okay. So yeah, she adores this and before anyone says like don't use other people's mascara, it's fine, it's my choice, don't worry about it. So here is the mascara and I did do a few layers because my mum does like to layer up her mascara. Now I am moving on to the final step which is the lips. Now this lipstick I got her for Christmas, just gone. And um, this one is by MAC and it is called On and On. Now my mum is a massive fan of like purpley lipsticks, kind of like purpley browns and stuff like that. So I got her this because we went into MAC like a while while ago and um, she said she liked this one but um, it was out of stock so I bought her another one and um, this one I remembered and bought it her for Christmas. So this is what it looks like up close and yeah let's whack it on. And here you have it. So this is my full face using only my mum's makeup and I feel slightly out of my comfort zone. Like this isn't me at all, like makeup wise and going against all of my like, you know, makeup techniques and things I do normally was pretty difficult and I did have a hard time doing that because this goes against everything I kind of do on my own face on the regular. So yeah, like I say, this looks good on my mum but on me, I don't feel like it does me any justice. But um, yeah, so if you did enjoy this, then please give me a thumbs up, leave me a lovely comment, don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video, and of course subscribe to see more from me when I look a lot better and a lot more like myself, a lot more put together, a lot more, you know, in my comfort zone. So yeah guys, I will see you all in my next video, and I love you all, thank you for watching, and um, yeah, have a good time in between this video and my next one, so yeah. Bye. Jessica, do I look like Nanny? What do you think? She's like, get out of my face. Okay, so I thought I would remove it on camera. These are the wipes my mum uses. These are the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes Removes Waterproof Mascara. So I am going to remove all of this makeup, which isn't me, girl. Like, oh, red raw.